So my name is Beat Zender. I'm the team manager of Alfa Romeo Racing. And I'm with the team for 32 years and 25 years as a team manager. Um, I started 32 years ago, or almost 33 years ago, as a mechanic with Peter Sauber um, at the times when we did sports car prototype championship. And uh, I think it's not so interesting. The more interesting thing was that I had no clue about racing. I was not interested in racing and I never watched a Formula One race. And so I was jumping into a racing environment which was completely new to me, um, which um, immediately attracted me, although not, not understanding anything about, about the sport. Um, I'm responsible for the overall organization of, of races, of tests, of demo events. Um, so meaning the logistics, um, who is flying when and, and with whom, and, and hotels, rental cars, dry eyes, um, sometimes communication lines. So the whole um, environment, working environment on the track, uh, including the infrastructure with panels and, and, and um, lista trolleys. Then I'm responsible for the hospitality, the catering, um, all the trucks. I'm more involved in, than anyone else in the company on the sporting side with the FIA. So I'm the link, direct link to the FIA whenever we have to go to see the stewards of the meeting. Um, for good or for bad, I'm, I'm with, with the driver. I'm being a lawyer in that respect as well because I always have to defend the driver. Um, if we think we did something wrong. I think the major change since we're in Formula One is um, internet. Internet made, but it's not only a change for, for F1, internet is a change for the whole world. And everything goes so much quicker um, than, than it used to. Um, when I started as a team manager, normally I went by car, let's say, to Belgium. And then I had to go to the hotel, and in the hotel there was like a roll of faxes waiting for me because we had no mobile phones, we had no computers. And today everything is much more um, rapidly, much more quicker. And this is the biggest difference. And then obviously this is one thing on, on the technical side, and the involvement of money, the budgets. The budgets enhance the, the involvement of, of people, of engineering, um, has, has been massively increased um, compared to 93. As a team manager, the best, one of the best moments probably today, um, um, after a long period of not being, I uh, wouldn't say successful, but not, not extremely good, um, having two cars in the top 10, well in the top 10 again, it's a reward for, for the whole team, it's a reward for, for myself, and I think um, one of the memories definitely is the one and one of the biggest achievements of the team is that we're still around. Um, we had financial difficulties, big financial difficulties, and the achievement of the team to stick together, to, to believe in ourselves and, and, and to keep on going is, is definitely um, one of the best memories. And then I obviously have good memories in, um, with only one race win, unfortunately. But the first podium with Heinz Harald Friends in Monza. Um, was very special. Even the first race in Kyle Emmy in 93, um, as, a, as a newcomer, as a nobody, we finished fifth in the race. And this was, this was um, fairly achieved. It's not that, that half of the field dropped out. It was JJ Lecht who had a fantastic drive. And so there are very good memories um, over the last 25 years. I think that the difference, the difference certainly today is with, with young people. They have, they have different things in mind, they have different objectives, they want to try different things. Um, so it, I think if you're, if you're finishing your school or university, um, a lot of people they go traveling first or they do this first and they have other interests. Um, life, life um, work balance um, is completely different than what it has been 30 years ago. But I think the key for me is that I like my job. I like traveling. You have to like traveling. I spend a lot of time in, in airplanes, at airports, um, in rental cars, in hotels. And you have to, you have to really love it, um, this lifestyle. Otherwise, otherwise, it's a waste of time and otherwise you wouldn't do it. It seems that I, I didn't do a, a stupid job, so I'm, I'm still around. And yeah, I'm, I'm still having fun. I'm still, it's still a thrill for me to go races. 
one would think that um, going 20 times, 25 times um, to Barcelona is always the same, but it's not. Um, you have you face different problems over a race weekend. Um, the, the management, the, the troubleshooting is different. Um, you have the, your lows, you have your, your ups. Um, and then, as said, if, if you can finish in the top 10 in qualifying, it's a reward for, for all of us. And this is what, what we're here for. Wait, wait, the next one. Do, do you think, is this there for a purpose? Do you think I'm sitting in the garage just for fun? <laughs> I'm sitting in the garage just for fun with a microphone. I don't know, because, because I'm not sitting enough at the pit wall. Okay, again.